festival. Erica So joins us live checking things out for herself. Oh, let's see. Oh, I did it! Yes! Yay! Ooh, high five! High five! <laughs> We're playing some pumpkin ring toss out here, and there's actually a ton of activities to do here. And this is all started by these two women over here. Tell me a little bit about this fall festival. How did you guys come up with this idea? It's just an event for the community that we decided to host to kind of promote our names and get ourselves out there. And we're just super excited to have everyone out here. Yeah, we're realtors in the Rockland area, so we wanted to do something for the community and thought this would be a great idea to get the community to together and do get something involved. fun. Yeah, yeah. And get involved and do something fun. And get them ready for the Halloween. Yeah, and so this is all, this is a fall themed event. Obviously, you guys have the beautiful photo booth set up over yeah. there with the glitter. I love it. And so, what are some of the activities that kids can? come out and enjoy? Um, well, there's going to be a cakewalk, there's bounce houses, the Ghostbusters are out here, we, we have, have pumpkin bowling, we have pumpkin ring toss, cornhole, gone lots, fishing, <laughs> lots of food, and 101.9 The Wolf is out here as well. And so, we have food trucks, like she said, but yes. everything else is free, so cakewalk. Yes. Yeah. So it's a free event and everybody can come here. I see a lot of kids out here in costume. I've been seeing a lot of dinosaurs. It seems like dinosaurs are very popular this this year. Yeah. <laughs> There's a costume contest at 12. So everybody come out in their costumes for the costume contest and there's prizes for that. Okay. What kind yeah. of prizes? Tell me about the prizes. Toys R Us gift cards. Exciting stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, they're going to be out here until 2 o'clock and it is rain or shine. So if you could get a chance, get out and enjoy it before the storm <laughs> comes on in. Bye. All right. Thanks, Erica. Well, if earlier this hour was not impressive enough, Jordan the Science was.